Okay, I'm here at uh, White Rap Ragnarok. Not gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous. Not sure where my manager Dwayne ran off to. Hey, Trent, you're an animal. What now? I want you to attack that stage like a lion. You hear me? Okay. I want you to melt that stage like a woman. Do it. Okay, this is not helping. Do or do not. There is no try. Oh, uh, yeah, we have all seen Empire Strikes Back. Four trucks are built for tough. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay, Dwayne, thank you. I will see you after the show. Okay, that uh, actually made things worse. Luckily, I think I've got a while before my spot. Dread Lacewell and little Stevie K to the stage. Two minutes. Thank you so much, DJ Claire de Lune, for those hella fresh, crunchy beats. I am Sylvia Lane Voorhees, hip hop and urban culture editor for your local NPR station, and your host for the first annual White Rap Ragnarok, an event that until a few moments ago, I was sure it was an inner office prank. Since this is apparently an actual thing that is happening, let's go ahead and bring up our first two contestants. From Plano, Texas, please welcome 12-year-old hip-hop sensation, Kid Stevie K. And on the other end of the age spectrum, originally from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 225 pounds, Trit Lacewell, Bro Country Pioneer. Yeah, I'm not sure what my weight has to do with anything. Okay, let's get this over with. DJ Claire Delune? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. My name's Stevie K, I got rhymes all day. I'm the white prince of Plano, no need to explain no. They call you Trent Lacewell, get ready for a face melt. You can't handle my rhymes, up here all alone. You look like Luke Bryan with low testosterone. Uh, I don't really rap, um, how about I sing you my big hit? Remember this? No, they don't, and they won't. Your skills aren't overblown, they're barely known. Try to relax. Go for what you know, cause yo, bro, you ain't the flow pro. Boots get you all over town. Boots get you all over town. Pick you up when you... How old could you possibly be? You look like a dad from Disney XD. You're in here looking all old like you should be yelling at Dylan and Cole. Okay, can I get a ruling on that reference? No? Alright. I'll give you a ruling. As far as rap skills go, you're barely drooling. Walked in here like a hee-haw reject, but I'm gonna make you my project. I'll school you until your brain's full, cause my knowledge is painful. Okay, I was actually on the last season of Hee Haw. I watched the light go out of Minnie Pearl's eyes. That's not funny. Damn right that's not funny. You just made me swear in front of my mom. I'm going to get detention. All because of your lack of raptastical invention. You're lame like an 8-track. Your new v-neck shirt is totally whack. Oh yeah? Uh, well, um, uh, I wear a v-neck shirt to show the hair on my chest. Not as much as your mom, but I try my best. You're a child, a total noob. Why don't you call me when you've touched a boob? I'm tired of your mess. Kid Stevie K, your mom wears a Goodwill dress. I saw her last night at the glass rail. 2 a.m. looking lonely as hell. Got your ass kicked at you, soccer. Now you're a rap star? How short are you anyway? Ragging on my ass when you can't get on the ride at Six Flags. Okay. Long story short, I won White Rap Ragnarok. And by one, I mean I made a 12-year-old boy cry in public. Yeah, uh, we were the only two contestants. Turns out the whole thing was an elaborate confidence building exercise engineered by Kid Stevie K's mom. Apparently he's been having a lot of trouble in school. I just wish somebody would have told me. On the upside, I did manage to get Sylvia Lane Borhue's number. Got it right here. Wait a minute. 555-1212. Five, 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 one, two, one, two. Oh, damn it, where's the peach knobs? Trid Lacewell, Road Country Pioneer.